The Angelus started、um, back when Justin and I lived in Denton, Texas.、Uh, we were both going to school there. We became friends, and his band at the time needed a bass player to fill in for a couple shows. So I played with him, and you know I would go to his shows. He would come to my shows, and then. When、uh, our bands kind of dispersed, I was starting a new project that became the Angelus. I was just playing、um, acoustic shows by myself, and he was interested in playing drums. So I got you know my electric guitar back out, and we started going at it. And then tried to find members, and it took a while to、uh, find people. And、um, over the years, you know, we've been as big as a five-piece, you know, with keyboards, two guitars, and Had several bass players, and, and now we're down to a three-piece.、Uh, Ryan started probably about five years ago, I think, five or six, and、uh, he recorded with us on this latest album.、Uh, we tricked him into moving to Dallas from San Francisco, but yeah, he's been a great fit, and so you know we've just kept it as a lean three-piece. In 2004,、um, we hadn't been a band for too long with all our members. We decided to go record a handful of songs that we had, and we ended up recording an EP. I think there were four or five songs on it. You know, it was fine for at the time, but we were so kind of、uh, gung ho to get it out that I don't think we even mastered it. We were, you know, putting it out ourselves, so we just didn't even have it mastered. We we're like, do we have to have it mastered? And the engineer was like, I guess not. <laughs> You know, if we knew the things we did back then, today,、uh, probably would have done it differently. But you know, we had something for shows and stuff. And after that one, we just kind of had a long dry spell of, of writing and living in Denton. I think we just, you know, were satisfied playing shows and writing songs. And no one was really sitting there being like, "Well, y'all need to have a plan to go record these because time is passing and you have all the songs." It wasn't until we finally moved to Dallas that we kind of buckled down and got ready to do, to do that. And、uh, we ended up recording an album called "On a Dark and Barren Land." And we recorded that one in Denton as well. Both of our first releases were recorded at the Echo Lab with Matt Barnhart. They were really rewarding experiences, and、uh, you know, we brought in people to play violin. We brought in cello. Being a five-piece, there was a lot going on, and we had lots of、uh, overdubs, lots of ideas. Not that it's bad, but what I prefer now is to like to kind of strip things away. For our latest record, it was just the three of us.、Uh, we recorded that one in Dallas at Elmwood Recording with Alex Bohr,、uh, and that's John Cognalton's studio. And that was really nice too. It was a totally different studio,、um, but you know we were basically a totally different band at that point. I think he really got what we were going for, and、uh, I imagine once we're ready. That we'll return there to record our next album.
puts us down of our own doing and try as we might we can win that fight we are running now running away The sound of the Angelus, I think, has evolved over the years, where now it's getting heavier or more aggressive. It's always been a big, um, kind of epic, if you will, um, sound that kind of washes over you. But I think we're focusing in on a little more percussion or like percussive, even guitar parts, along with drum parts. But the vocals kind of float above everything. So even if you have this violence or um, kind of distress parts in the music, the uh, harmonies of the vocals pull everything together. And so I don't think it would ever be considered super heavy music. It kind of has metal influences now, whereas it, where it, when we started out, it was more like shoegaze or um, leaned more to that side. Where now, you know, it's there's guitar parts that are more aggressive and more more movement and more um, more dynamic guitar parts. So for this release of There Will Be No Peace, we really tried to focus in on producing a lot of um, music videos for the album to kind of help promote it. And we recorded an album trailer, and then I recorded a, a video myself for one of the songs called As I Live and Breathe. And I had a friend who lives in Oklahoma. He had shot and videoed the, the trailer for the album, and I gave him all the video clips, and he edited it together for me, which was... I was going to try to do myself, and I'm positive that he did a much better job than I would have. But I think it also kind of inspired him to want to do a full video for us. So he came back and did a video for a song called uh, The Other Side of the Mountain, which turned out great. It's really dark and was shot you know, at dusk. I guess they call it the blue hour, right before the sun goes down, so everything is you know, almost dark, but you know, still a little bit of light is coming through. And, uh, you know, I think he did a great job. We were you know, able to get that video featured on NPR, and you know, a lot of people saw it and uh, got a great response for it. <laughs> 